Hey there, anime aficionados. Throw on your coziest blankets and get ready for a winter anime wonderland. We're saying see you later to returning faves like Furin, Tsukamichi, Classroom of the Elite, and more. And we're diving headfirst into a snowdrift of only brand new anime coming your way in winter 2024. So no reruns here, just fresh flakes of anime goodness. And hey, don't forget to smash that like button to show some love for your favorite otaku dom and your favorite otaku channel. All right, let's jump in in no particular order to the 10 anime you need to watch this winter 2024. Number one. My instant death ability is so overpowered, no one in this world stands a chance against me. Imagine snoozing your way through a class trip and waking up in another world. Classic, right? Yogiri Takatu did just that, missing out on the superpower giveaway and ending up dragon bait. But who needs a gif when you can just think someone's death? Let's see if Yogiri can stay awake long enough to use his power of death thinking or if he'll just nap through the next apocalypse. At number two, we have Sasaki and Peeps. Sasaki's midlife crisis leads him to Peeps, a bird, but not just an average bird. He is a mage from another world. Yep, you heard that right. This unlikely duo is set for a magical journey. Can Sasaki handle the wizardry and wonder, or will he just end up wishing he got in a goldfish? Number three, the wrong way to use healing magic. Usato gets the short end of the summoning stick and finds himself in a fantasy world with a knack for healing. But who knew healing magic could be so freaking hardcore? Will Osato's self-healing training pay off, or will he just become the world's buffest nurse? We're going to find out this season. At number four, a sign of affection. Yuki, a deaf college student, meets Utsumi, who shows her the world in ways she's never imagined before. Love blooms in silence. But can these two really bridge their worlds? Or will their romance be lost in translation? At number five, we have Villainous Level 9-9. I may be the hidden boss, but I'm not the demon lord. Eumelia Dolkness, the introverted gamer turned villainous, accidentally grinds her way to being mistaken for the demon lord. Will her overpower self manage to dodge the heroes and live a quiet life? Or will she be doomed to be the final boss forever? Is she going to get out of the set pretense of the story? Or is she going to make something more of herself in a new chance in villainous level 9-9? At number six, we have Seventh Time Loop. The villainess enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy. Rishi Imgard Weitzner, looping through time, decides to marry her murderer from a past life. Talk about an awkward ex. Can she avoid her deadly fate this time? Or is it deja vu all over again? Find out this season is Seventh Time Loop right here on the channel. At number seven, we have the strongest tanks labyrinth raids. Rudd the tank with a defense of 9999. Rudd gets booted from the heroes party. What a way to start a story, right? But hey, who needs heroes anyways when you're basically invincible? Will Rudd's newfound skills help him save his sister and discover his true strength? Or will he just be the loneliest tank in town? Let's find out. Number eight, we're almost through the list. Can you believe it? The number eight must watch anime is The Weakest Tamer Began a Journey to Pick Up Trash. Ivy, Starless, and Stranded partners with the weak slime named Sora to survive. It's a tale of underdogs and under slimes against the world. Can they turn their trashy situation into treasure? Is this a trash into treasure type of situation? Or are they destined for the dumpster? Well, all I know is based on the trailer, this is going to be a cutie patootie ride. So let's take The Weakest Tamer Began a Journey to Pick Up Trash, and let's see if we can turn it into treasure. 
All right, number nine might be probably my favorite anime on the list without seeing one episode so far, but this is Dr. Elise, the royal lady with the lamp. Ao Takamato, once a villainess, now a doctor, gets a second shot at fixing her past. Can she heal an empire and redeem her soul? Or is history doomed to repeat itself? All right, and quick Dom interjection here. Imagine a place where you're a villain and you lived a crappy life. You get isekai and decide to turn yourself over a new leaf. And isekai in a modern world, you get put into doing medical research and become an awesome doctor. You then one day wake up in a 10 year old body of yourself and decide that you are now back in your original life once again. Not only do you get to undo all the doings that you did before, but you now get to use what you learned in a new life. Yeah, Dr. Elise is going to be fire. I promise you guys. All right, number 10. Last on the list. This one, my friends, number 10 is called Isekai Onsen Paradise. That's right. The trope is being made into an anime, baby. Yoshozu Yakawa, Hot Springs Obsession, gets a twist in another world with Mayudama, the attendant princess. Surrounded by furry-eared and elven girls in Steamy Springs, will he find the ultimate ecchi onsen or a lot of awkward encounters? All I know is hashtag booba. All right, my friends, that was all 10. So which of these frosty fresh anime are you warming up to this winter? Did I miss a hidden gem that I absolutely need to watch? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you're speechless, drop me a snowflake. That will suffice. Subscribe for more anime adventures, and let's make this anime winter 2024 the coolest one yet. All right, my friends, I'll see you in the winter. Peace out.